Alrighty, hello guys, welcome me faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and we are back with our World War 1 destroyer. As you guys can see, what we're going to do today is we're going to try and get this thing moving under its own steam, literally, uh, by allowing the engine down below to actually work. At the minute, it is obviously very much not working, uh, it does explode, and that is not good. However, we're going to go ahead and try and make this work today by modifying it a little bit. Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and try and move all of these guys backwards slightly, which means that we can actually use the two boilers by pushing this one backwards, so we can use the steam from this one and the steam from this one, allowing the water to go back into each of them individually, uh, and using it that way. Uh, we're also going to try and, I don't know, sort of fix the, um, the temperature as well, because that makes sense to do. So we'll do that as well. Hopefully, uh, that'll be good. Okay, so uh, just to make things a little bit less complicated, let's actually just get rid of this one for now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get rid of all of this, and we're just going to go ahead and support one boiler. Uh, the reason I had two is because it actually eats up a lot quicker with two, and I think it is actually fine to have two. Uh, even though a lot of you guys were saying that it, it isn't, uh, but I'm I'm almost certain you can have two boilers, you just can't have them attached together uh, in the way that we have. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and not spawn it in. <laughs> things are getting to my head here, what's happening? Here we go. So we're going to go ahead and delete all of these things, here we go. So this, and all of this down to there, delete this guy, put that in, and we're going to obviously delete these guys to there, there we go, good. We're then going to have to send this from here into there, and that is fine. So, hopefully that's okay. Uh, the condensers probably do limit it quite a bit, um, but I'm not sure what to do about that, to be honest. Uh, what I might do is actually add a pump after this. I might also add a pump into there, same with this one, uh, allowing it to be a little bit quicker, but um, I don't know. Anyway, let's delete these guys for now. There we go, delete that one as well. Get ourselves an actual pump, and I think we'll have to attach it onto here. Ooh, like this, I guess? Like that, there we go. Hopefully this is out. It is! Hey, that's lucky, isn't it? Uh, so grab ourselves an angled piece, whack it into there, and that's fine. Alright, so it is a little bit ugly right now. It'd be a lot easier and a lot nicer if this was in a bit, but um, let's see what happens here, because it might be okay. Oh, and another thing that I'm going to do, actually, is... What is this? That is... What is that? That's the water. All right, we're not going to limit the water. We are literally just going to limit the pressure. So if we can, let's go ahead and cut this really quickly. Move it over to there. There we go. Paste it back in. Merge that down. So yeah, we are going to limit the pressure of this thing. This is going to go to there. Uh, this one is obviously going to go to the pressure on this side. And the other thing that we're going to do... Just as another thing that hopefully will help is we're going to go to the air, not the exhaust, but the air. Yes, so it's this one. We're going to delete those and we're going to get ourselves a valve, uh, which essentially is going to open and close, allowing air in and air out uh, to both increase temperature and decrease temperature. So this actually needs to be the other way up. There we go. This should be in. There we go. Fantastic. And... Yeah, so let's go to greater than, if the value in there is greater than, I don't know, let's say 150, we close this. In fact, actually, no. Uh, da -da 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 -da. So attach this to there, good. Attach this to here, two separate set, uh, systems, that's okay. Uh, value to compare, okay, which is this one, and we're going to go with temperature. And the same with this one, value to compare is temperature. And if they're both greater than, let's go with like 125. One, two, five. Uh, it actually closes the, the the gate. There we go. All right, cool. Let's see what this does. Okay, so uh, it lights up the same way that we always have lit it up, which is just this button right here. There we go. So that'll light these guys. Hopefully, if I give this infinite electricity, yes, I have. Okay, turns out actually that's not working. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay, so, I, I now know the reason. Uh, these things actually spawn closed, and I had to change this to a less than rather than a greater than in order to actually open them up. So as soon as this gets to a temperature of about 125, then uh, it will actually close off the air supply, which then uh, stops this thing from going too high of a temperature. Which I think is fine, I think that's okay. Um, I don't know how to stop these guys from slowing down. I don't know whether we need three or whether... Uh, or whether we need five, or whether we need three, or whether we need four. I'm not sure, but it is turning currently, so that's good. 
Not turning very quickly, but I guess that's fine. Uh, and this does generally seem to slow down. Which is weird. I don't know why that's the case. So, this is producing steam. Yes, it is. Our temperature is 160 and sort of stabilizing and going back down. Okay. And our pressure is going down as well. Ah, that's an issue. So I think because I've actually changed the temperature, this thing might have closed. Wait, why is the temperature of this going down? Oh yeah, because the air supply. Wait. Oh, okay, right. I guess it has to be higher than that then. It must have to be like... I don't know, 200 or something? I don't know, because it's about to turn back on. There you go, look at that, it's turned back on. So it can't be done that way, that's not right. Okay, I'm actually going to go ahead and put this at 200. I, I don't know whether 200 is going to be too high, but we will see. We've also got the, obviously, um, the pressure limitation as well, uh, which does something. It actually opens up these valves to allow the steam out if we need to, uh, which is fine. Also, we haven't got these working, so we need those to be working too. So let's go ahead and put this onto here. Go ahead and put it onto here as well, and hopefully that will help out a little bit. Yeah, let's see what happens here. Okay, so it's on. There we go. It is using coal. That is good. And our temperature is at 300. Oh, wow. That goes up really quick. Hopefully, I don't know. Hopefully this still works at 200. Although this is burning really, really high. This is burning really high. 400 degrees. Holy. That is hot. Uh, which means this thing is actually getting increased temperature really quickly. Okay, which means there's now steam building and there is pressure building as well. Which means that the pistons are actually moving, and they are getting pumped through. Is there steam going in and out of here? Steam's going in, steam's going out pretty quickly. They are dealing with it, which is nice. Okay, and then it's going back into here, which is producing more steam and allowing that to work. Okay, our pressure's staying relatively low. We are about to hit 200, though. Now we've hit 200, this will start decreasing in temperature. Okay... Uh, this has gone past 200. Because this goes up to, like, way higher than that. Okay, yeah, that's the issue. So, because this goes up to, like, 400, th this has to wait for this to cool down before it then increases again. Because this should be open again? It's not. Why isn't it open back up? Oh, there you go. Alright, it's going again. We haven't exploded, so that's good, but it's it, this isn't perfect. This is by no means good. Yeah. I'm about to hit 200, which means this will turn off again. Yeah. Okay, so we have... We've stopped the exploding issue, but we've increased an issue of um, having no power. We're, like, not doing anything. These guys aren't even moving. or they are a little bit. But they're not really doing very much. Okay, just a side note then. What if... Instead of keeping this at the right temperature, we just keep this at the right temperature. Maybe that'll be okay. So keep the firebox itself at a lower temperature, meaning that this will stay like more of a constant temperature overall. I think, anyway. I don't know whether this will work. Also, what is this? Is this being closed the whole time or has it been open the whole time? I don't actually know. I don't know. Okay, right. Let's just go ahead and get rid of that. We aren't actually limiting the water at all anyway, so let's go ahead and save this and see what happens now. Okay, guys, so this is staying at around 200, which is nice. There you go, so the air keeps getting limited, but that's okay. Is this doing weird puffs of smoke at the top? It looks like it is, but I don't think so. That looks lovely. I think this ship actually looks really good in white, by the way. Um, so maybe we do keep it white. I don't think so, though. Um, limiting this actually means that this has... Uh, a longer time to actually get up to temperature, which is slightly annoying, but hopefully that's okay. And then eventually this will start moving this, which produces uh, electricity, but obviously this is just a test. So we'll see what happens here. Okay, we're up to 100. There we go. Nice, which means this has started moving, which is lovely. We're up to uh, 3 RPS. 4 RPS. Zam, that's not bad. Okay, cool, and it's about to start dropping. It is. It is dropping slowly, but it is dropping. These guys are moving around. That's good. And is this staying at about the right temperature? It hasn't got up to 200, but that's okay. Our pressure is slowly raising, so that's good. Okay, and our steam out is happening, but there is no water going in. 
Steam's going into here. And water is not leaving, question mark? I don't feel like very much is going on there. It doesn't seem like much water is actually going back in. Oh, there you go, little trickles, like. It's actually trickling water into here now. So we are getting steam, steam is getting pumped through the pistons, the pistons are sort of doing their job, and then it's going to get pushed out the back. We need to be going, oh, we need to be producing more than this though, because at the minute this is, this is going to drive very, very slowly. Very slowly indeed. Alright, so looking at this, uh, there's actually no steam in this thing anymore, um, because I guess there's not enough actual water in there to actually produce steam. So I think we need... We need more water in the actual system, which is a thing. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and um, move these guys inwards. We'll try and make this bit look a little bit nicer. And then we'll actually modify it a little bit, hopefully to make it work a little bit better. And we'll go from there. Okay, so what I've done is I've obviously modified it a little bit, uh, as you guys already know. Uh, I've gone ahead and taken out some of these because I was thinking uh, maybe five is too much for it to push. I, I don't know. I, I don't know if that's actually true. Uh, one thing that I do want to do that I haven't is put more fluid in this thing because that would be actually a, a good idea. We don't really have that much fluid in here. In fact, why did it say volume? We've got 17.5. I don't think that's enough water. So we might need some more water in the system, but that's okay. We've obviously got this, and we've got this, and I've also squidged it in as well, so these guys are actually inwards, rather than on the outside. I might need to do the same thing with this thing, because at the minute, it's sort of in the open. Uh, whereas we could put it here, and then have the pipe go there anyway. So, yeah, we can sort of make it look a little bit more streamlined. Uh, anywho, let's go ahead and wait for this to get up to temperature, and then we'll see what happens with this. If we get more than, like, 4 RPS, I'm going to be happy. I don't know whether that's going to work, but here we go. Okay, hang on. That is the right temperature. We should have steam. We do have steam. There we go. They are moving. Okay, and then we are up to... Three? Three RPFs. That is it. And it will drop back down. Because these guys end up going slowly, which is really annoying. Should we go with four? Maybe we should actually go with four of these. That might be a good idea. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is uh, just fill these to full. That's fine. They can have as much water as they possibly want. We're then going to go and delete these three. We're going to grab one of these and we're going to shove it on there like so. That's good. We're then going to have these guys go out to there and there. Delete this one and this one. Send this across. Oh, actually, hang on. We need one of these, obviously. There we go. There and there. We're going to attach these guys together and these guys together as well. We're then going to have to do the same thing on the inside. Kind of annoying, but there you go. Good. Send this out to there. Send this out to here. And get ourselves an angled piece. Whack it into there. And whack that into there. There we go. Nice. So that is everything uh, that we need to do there. Except we are going to need to modify this. So that starts at minus... Oh, I don't know. Let's go down to like 0 0.25. Oh, no. We can't. 0 0.2? We essentially need the difference between each of these to be the same. Okay, so as you guys seen, we've added another one of these. Uh, I've also changed the gear ratio in there to essentially be non-existent, so it's zero. Uh, whatever this is doing, this will be doing as well, uh, essentially. So let's get this up to temperature, which shouldn't take too, too long. 
Uh, this is already at temperature, which is nice. We've obviously added more water into this, so it's got 175 um, liters of water in, which is good. Uh, which means it shouldn't run out, and then this guy is, is working too. Alright, good. And here it goes, so we are, there we go, we are producing steam now, which is excellent. These guys should start moving around any second, here we go. This side's moving, that side isn't, because this side has been divided correctly and that side hasn't been modified at all. Let's see what the difference is here, actually. So, uh, we go to this, this one is 1 RPS, and this one is the same. Even though these are in different orientations to each other. Interesting. That is a very, very interesting. So, the RPS is like 1. Interesting. Alright, cool. Uh, well, what's this doing? Alright, fluid volume is still going down. Not very quickly. In fact, it's actually coming back. It's staying around... It's staying around that, actually. Yeah, okay. Going down slightly, but that's okay. Uh, steam obviously is going up. Pressure is raising as well. Okay, we're doing stuff. Okay, I've had a little break from this, and I've decided to come back to it, because after talking with Gardner a little bit, uh, we've decided, or he's decided, and I also sort of agree with this, uh, this situation right here with the condensers is just a little bit too slow. Um, and honestly, it is not worth actually having them, um, because, yeah, they are too slow. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of those, which means we need to get rid of this, and we can also actually get rid of all of this too, um, which is nice, because it sort of looked a little bit weird being up there. We're going to do this guy, and we're going to do this guy. And essentially, we're going to make a process of desalinating the water from the sea. So, essentially getting rid of the, uh, the salt in it. And making it normal water, and then pumping it back into here. Um, which is okay, I think. Um, I haven't really messed with the desalination stuff at all, so this could be kind of interesting. Don't know how it's going to go, uh, but we'll figure it out. So, what we need to do with this steam is essentially just pump it straight back out wherever we want. Uh, it could go out the side, or it could go out of one of the funnels. Honestly, I am thinking one of the funnels might be a good idea, and then maybe out the side for one of them. I don't really know. Anyway, um, yeah, let's go and do a time lapse of putting the pipes in for that. And then we'll do the desalination stuff, and hopefully we can get it working. Okay, so the other thing that Gardner actually said as well is obviously to do the air stuff to maintain a temperature of 160. So instead of it being 200, we're going to go with 160, as Gardner says, and we're also going to go ahead and do the explodey thing, so uh, we need a valve on the steam that actually sends the steam upwards. Although actually, now that I'm thinking about this, do we get enough water from this? Do we want to have one condenser? just so that we can send some of the water back, or do we want to get rid of literally all of the steam? I don't know. I, I don't know. Oh, actually, no, the steam relief actually needs to come off this. Ah, yeah, no, the steam needs to come off of this piece. Um, in fact, actually, probably off this piece right here. So what we'll do is we'll actually attach this onto there, and have the steam actually be able to get released this way if it needs to. Now, I guess, actually, with that being said, let's not do it this way. Hold on. Hold on one second. Let's grab this and do it this way instead. So we can actually poke it upwards. Good. Get ourselves a valve. Yes. And put that on there, hopefully. Yep, good. And then the out can actually go straight into here. Yeah, that makes more sense anyway. So have this go this way. Grab ourselves one of these. Put it on there like this. 
Uh, and then, yeah, if it needs to go out, it can go out that way. Which means these greater thans need to work as well. So, pressure, yes. This opens this guy. It also opens this guy. And then these guys are already on there anyway. Alright, so we just need to make sure there is enough water coming in through these to actually restock this. What we could also do is actually just put some water tanks in as well, uh, and that would also work fine. The other thing that I'm going to do as well is actually add a pump. Because a pump is useful, so let's go ahead and dump this onto there. Hopefully that's correct. Nope, it's the wrong way around. It is the wrong way around. There we go, so that can actually go on there like that. We can then dump this onto here like so, dump that onto there like that. And I think we'll automatically just have that going. I don't think we necessarily need a pump here, but we'll have one anyway, and hope that it works. So, now that we've done that, uh, there was another problem that we keep having, which is that these guys like to slow down very quickly. So we need to figure out um, what sort of pressure they have, or what sort of pressure they get to, and why they keep slowing down. But uh, let's see what happens now that we've done all this, and hopefully it'll work. Okay, so uh, this is going to take a lot longer to get up to temperature. Uh, I mean, this isn't, but this is. Uh, so we got to work on that. we got to know how much water is actually coming through these. At the moment, none. So fluid in, it doesn't say any on any of these things. Uh, maybe because this is full. Maybe because it can't actually go anywhere. We'll have to see what happens here. I'm not sure. But I think that's because it can't actually go anywhere right now. So it isn't. <laughs> Also, just as a side note, we probably don't need this many desalinators, um, but also I don't know how quickly these work. Uh, the other thing is as well, uh, on this side, I haven't actually fixed these guys to work properly, so that's a thing. And uh, the timing on these ones might be out as well, but we'll see what happens here. Hopefully, uh, it does actually work out. So this is doing stuff, so these guys should do things? I, I don't know. I don't know how these work. Do they have an on-off? Maybe they do. It doesn't look like they do. No. I don't know how these work. So we have to figure that out. But anyway, um, let's see what's going on here. So the pressure is going up. That's good. These guys are working, and the RPS is like 1. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. I don't know why these aren't working, though. So we need to somehow figure that out. Because... Yeah. Alright, okay, let's go up to the top and see what's going on there. So yeah, it's just letting out steam because reasons. I might actually have that come out the top, because I think that makes more sense than coming out there. But, um, yeah. We need to figure this out. Okay, uh, I've, I've found the reason. Uh, this is out, not in. Uh, which is what we need. So, uh, let's go ahead and do that instead. <laughs> there we go. So I think it's, is it this way around? Is it this way around? How do we do this? Is that in or out? Please say it's in. No, it's it, it's out. All right, hold on. Flip it. There we go. Is that... That's also out. Ah! Okay, hang on. We need it to go like this, but we can't. So it needs to go uh, here like this. All right, that's fine. So, um, yeah, that's why there was no water going in, I think, because it didn't have anywhere to go, and it was being pumped the wrong way. So it was actually getting pumped out uh, the wrong way of the desalination thing, which is weird, but um, it's okay. Because now I think we've sorted that out. The other thing that I have seen on a different design is an actual throttle here. Oh, not a throttle, but a uh, valve. That is a variable valve that essentially works. Um, oh, no, the other way. The other way around. There we go. Uh, it essentially works by being our actual throttle. So if we wanted to make it move, we'd put the throttle up. If we wanted to keep it still, we'd turn the throttle down. Uh, and I think that would be fine. So let's go ahead and put this on here and here. And then we can release the steam as we go. Let's see what that does. Although, actually, thinking about this, uh, we then need a little uh, thingamabobby, a separate piece. Because otherwise we are... Yeah, all right, otherwise this is going to be bad. So let's do this real quick. We then need to get ourselves another one of these. There we go, pointing to the sky, sure. Um, and we need to send that to the same place all of this is getting sent to. Uh, which is up there. So let's go ahead and try and put on a piece that sends it upwards that way. This is a lot of stuff going on up here, but that's that's okay. So we got to attach this guy to here and send it this way. We'll then send it upwards and hopefully into there. 
which we then need a pipe for, uh, to also work. Yeah, so essentially what this is, because of where I've put the these valves, we needed another pressure relief valve, just because the pressure inside of there will still get too high. So we attach this guy to there, we attach this guy to here, and now it should be fine. And also, we can build up some pressure, which could be interesting. Anyway, let's not spawn this in. Let's go ahead and replace that guy. And see if this will work. Okay, so, turn it on. There we go. Nice. Uh, we also need a way of actually refueling this thing as well. Getting more coal into the actual ship. Uh, I do think we'll either have it here. In fact, what is above us? Mm, I don't know. I kind of want it in the center right there, but I don't know what that's going to look like. Yeah, I don't know what that's going to look like. Anywho... Um, let's just go ahead and wait for this thing to turn on. And then eventually we'll use this. And then these will move, I guess. Okay, so it's about to start making steam because the pressure of this is up to 98, 99, and steam should be getting made. There we go. Now, the steam isn't actually escaping from the boiler because... Uh, because the valve isn't actually open, so it's actually staying in there. These guys shouldn't move until I push this. Also, these ones need fixing, but that's fine for now. So, if we have a little look at this. I don't know whether we should actually add a pump on this, just in case we need to pump it out quicker. Um, I'm not sure. But it should be at about 8. So, if we get to pressure of 8, we should be good. In fact, let's just go ahead and do this real quick. Which means these guys should start moving. There we go. Alright, cool. They are moving, but it's not going too well. I'm going to fully open it. And the RPS should start going up a little bit higher and a little bit higher and a little bit higher. I guess. There you go. So it's at 1. Obviously, we haven't done anything with gearboxes. And there should be a lot of torque in this. So I would assume that we could do lots of gearboxes and make this really quick. So that's the next thing I'm actually going to do. I'm also going to sort out this side because it is a little bit different to this side in terms of the way that it is timed, as you can see. Anyway, let's go and fix that, and I'll add a bunch of gearboxes, and we'll see what happens there. Oh, and I've been a, a big dum-dum again, and this isn't actually, this isn't even turned on. So, yes, I've been a big dum-dum. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that, I'm going to go ahead and fix this, and we'll add some gearboxes, and we'll see what happens then. All right, here we go again. So now this is at 99, and now it's at 100. It is producing steam. Excellent. Uh, what I've done back here is I've got a bunch of buttons. These ones on this side don't work, but these ways do, and they control both. So this is a bunch of different gear ratios inside of each one of these. Uh, and essentially, we're just going to go ahead and turn them on until we get a nice little re ratio out of this. So steam is happening. So we're going to go ahead and do this. It should start both of these guys, and they are working quite nicely. At the minute, we are generating around... 9? Uh, around 1. Okay, around 1. So if we turn this on, then what happens? 1.3. Okay, let's turn that one off. Turn this one on. That is 3. Okay, turn this one off. Turn this one on. 2. Alright, okay, uh, that was 1.3, sorry. Turn this one off. Turn this one on, and that is 3. Alright, cool. If we then turn the first one on... 3.7, turn this one on, 5, okay, turn this one on, that is now 10. So yes, if we had a propeller, we'd be able to propel this thing really, really quickly. So, now that we've done that, shall we assume, is this working? It's turned on, but there is no water coming through this. Why? How is there no water going in there? That doesn't make much sense to me. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this up to the top, and we're going to add a pump a little bit closer to the top of these. And then we're going to go ahead and put a propeller on the back and have this thing actually propel itself through the water, I think. Okay, so uh, first things first, let's delete uh, these guys right here and do this. There we go, cool. From there, we're going to go ahead and send these guys all the way to the top. There we go. And this one as well. There we go, nice. Delete these guys, put this one in, this one in, and there we go. So the steam will come out of the rear funnel, uh, as well as the smoke. That is good. Okay, so... Um, let's go down to the bottom and sort this out as well. We're going to do gearboxes. We're actually going to go three to one. Three to one. 
Three to one and three to one. We're gonna do four gearboxes at three to one. That seems a little bit insane, but that is what we're gonna do. We're gonna have minus one on this one as well, just so we can actually have a reverse. Um, we're gonna do this, two, one, there we go, good. And we need to do the same thing on each of these. Yes, so that's gonna go to three to one. It's gonna go to one to one. We're gonna do it again and again and again. And hopefully by the end of this, we're good. So bring this down to one to one. There we go. Actually, minus one. Uh, this is the gearbox that's going to put it in reverse. So that's good. Um, and what we're going to need to do from there is actually delete these guys. And I'm actually going to go ahead and pump it. I was going to say through the floor, but actually, nah, we will. We'll put it through the floor. So send this down just like this. Delete this guy. We'll get ourselves some pipes and we will actually send it backwards, which is absolutely crazy but there you go so put this in correctly if we can there we go delete this going back to the rear of the ship which is all the way backwards to around here we're then actually gonna have it come back up which is a bit odd i know um and then we'll go from there all right cool so straight piece all the way to here good attach that guy together right there we're actually gonna have this come upwards once Twice, twice, there we go, good. And we're gonna have this sent into the end. Here we go, so it's gonna go through this, into there. We're gonna delete this guy right here, we're gonna get ourselves a straight piece, just like so. We're gonna paint that as is, and then I need a pivot, because I actually want the propellers to be pointing downwards. I know that seems a little bit weird, but that's what I want. So let's go ahead and do this. We're gonna get ourselves some pipes. And we're just going to go ahead and send them backwards and down. That's it. There you go. So it's going to go like this. We're going to get some propellers and we're going to shove them on there. Uh, this might look really, really, really weird to you guys. And honestly, it looks a little bit weird to me. But that's okay. I'm going to delete these just so that it sort of fits. Don't worry too much about this. It doesn't really matter. We're going to go ahead and paint this guy in. Paint all of this all the way around, including these guys. And that will lower it down. All right, cool. Let's get ourselves a pivot. No, 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 a number. And essentially what this number is going to do is angle it down for us. So we put it to there, we put it to there. And we make that number something like 0.3. There we go. Oh, hopefully that is the right way around. Oh, minus 0.3? It might be minus. Let's go and put a minus on there anyway, and then we'll see what actually happens. In fact, we can just spawn it in and have a look really quickly ourselves. Yeah, so it's actually pointing them down. Look at that. Probably too much, and it's probably not far enough, like, that direction. Uh, but that's okay. Cool. So, yeah, what I'm thinking is I actually kind of want to move the back of this, this bit of the ship uh, that direction a little bit more. Uh, and I think that'll look pretty good. So, let's go ahead and try this. Let's go ahead and grab, like, all of that up to there. Uh, we're actually going to go ahead and grab the other side as well, obviously. So grab this, as well as these guys. Yeah, so let's cut this. Move this backwards to about there, and we'll do it from there instead. All right, cool. Merge these guys. We're going to go ahead and grab all of this. In fact, we could just delete these and have a pipe going all the way to those, and hopefully that'll be okay. I, I don't know whether it will, but we'll see. So attach this to there. We obviously need a floor putting in again, so let's do that real quick. And, yeah, all right, cool. So far, so good. Let's grab this, jug this, this color. Merge these guys. Oh, no, it's not those guys. Merge this guy with this guy. There we go. Let's want it in again. Let's go ahead and jump in and see what kind of angle that's at. A crazy angle. And that's too much. So we need a little bit less, but that's okay. We, we are getting what we want out of this, I think, uh, in the end. So jump back down to here. We need to make sure this one is merged also. And the angle we're going at is only going to be like 0 0.15. There you go. Spawn that back in again and see what that looks like. Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, it looks weird. It looks really weird. We still haven't balanced this thing out yet, but that's cool. Okie dokie. So, uh, yeah, this is angled down. That is a-okay. I would actually like to have it, I don't know, be somewhat supported, I guess. So, what I'm actually going to do is this. It's going to look really weird, but don't worry about it too much. 
So we're going to do maybe even further out than that. There we go, down to there. We're going to attach these guys together right there. We're then going to turn this around and do this, which should allow this guy to actually slot down into that area. And then we're going to need a rudder somewhere on the back end as well. Honestly, the rudder is not too much of an issue. Um, but yeah, that's fine. Let's go ahead and add a rudder real quick. Oh, we don't even need a rudder yet. We don't need a rudder yet. I just want to go ahead and make this thing move. Let's do that. Oh, actually, thinking about it, um, if we do want it to move, we obviously can't use the mission where it keeps it still. So we are going to have to add a bunch of weight inside of this thing. Uh, and when I say a bunch of weight, I mean a bunch of weight. Like, there's going to have to be loads of weight added. Uh, so we're going to go with something like this. We're going to spawn it in. Hopefully it stays relatively flat. Yeah, that's not terrible, actually. But I think it might still list. I might have to... Uh, I have to do something with stability on this thing. I really do. Um, yeah, no, we do. We need even more weight to go in this thing. Otherwise, it's just going to tip over again. So our thingy, center of mass, is actually really high still. So we're going to have to do more of this. There we go. Possibly even more than that, maybe. So let's go ahead and do it one more time. There we go. All the way down to the end. And the center of mass is very low now. But maybe the ship's going to be that low, too. Ooh. Oh, not bad. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and jump inside and just get this thing moving. It's all I want. Just move, please. That'd be great. Yeah, so we're going to have to balance this out again anyway in the future. Because I don't want all of these blocks to actually be here. So we're going to merge them in somewhere. Possibly in the ground. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, let's wait for this to heat up. We'll then get it moving forwards. And hopefully, all will be well. Oh, and I am going to get rid of that ship too, so let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Nice, because I didn't want to crash into anything directly in front of us. That would have sucked. But um, yeah, we're going to be moving without any way of turning or stopping. So yeah. All right, let's go back downstairs. I say stopping. We can stop. We can. All right, is this at 100 yet? Nowhere near. Okie okay, dokie, okay, we're at 96. Uh, 97. There we go. 98. Come on, 99. When we get to 100, we can actually just send it. So let's run to the back end, do this. Okay, which should open up our pistons to allow this thing to move. All right, they're at a bit too much of an angle there, I think, because they are trying to push us down into the water. However, we are actually moving. And we're not moving that slowly either. That's not terrible. That is not terrible. So, uh, what I want to do is actually go back downstairs really quickly. Because we need to sort out some other things. Is there any water coming up through any of these? There must be. But, but, it's not getting into there quick enough. So, yeah. I don't know. We need to sort out the water replenishment system. But, we are moving, so I am a very, very... Very pleased with this. Now, I do want to say thank you to Gardner for actually helping me with this. Uh, I appreciate it a lot. So, um, yeah, I think we are good to go from here. We're going to leave that pretty much as is. The rest of the ship will obviously get more stuff added to it and get changed. So for now, I think that's it. We probably leave this here. What I want to do before we do actually finish finish, though, is I want to change the color of the ship back to gray because that's the color it needs to be. So, let's do it. Here we go. We don't want it to be white. White's too white. So, we'll go here. Change the colors. There we go. Lovely. And then on the inside, obviously all of this pink is going to be very gray. Just like that. There you go. I do want this to look a little bit nicer than this, so we will try and add some sort of, like, housing around this. Um, but yeah, for now, this is okay. Alright, delete all of these. Delete that, actually. Let's get ourselves a throttle lever and we'll actually put it in here. And then we'll be able to see what it's like whilst actually driving the beast. You know, this is cool. So only do it on one side. We only need it on one side. There we go. Whack that in there. Get ourselves a helm. So we can actually see. And there we go. All right, this is awesome. Let's attach this down to the throttles. This piece and this piece. And we can go from there. Oh, and just because I think it'll be fun, uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and... Oh, well, we need this to be less uh, as, as a start point. There we go. And I also want to add some rudders. We're not, these aren't going to be the rudders that we actually use. Uh, but I do want to use these for now. 
just so that we actually have something that is able to turn the boat. Because if we can turn, that'd be awesome. We now need to go back all the way up to here. A and D. There we go. Send it all the way backwards to the back end. Do this and this, this and this. And there we go. We should actually be able to move this thing along now. That's crazy. I did almost forget, we do still have to go down to the bottom to actually turn on the uh, the fireboxes, but once we've done that, we are ready to go. It is listing slightly as well when it's actually stable, but that that's fine. Uh, these guys, are they as low as they were? They are probably about the same lowness. That's okay. The rudders are actually perfect. They will work, and that's okay. Those rudders will get changed, so don't worry too much about that. Uh, but the rest of this thing, looking pretty good, actually. I like it. Okay, so you might be thinking, well, how do you know when you're actually good to go? Well, we'll actually start seeing some steam puff out of this thing, and as soon as we see the steam, we are ready to roll. Uh, at least, hopefully, we are ready to roll. So I'm gonna wait for some white steam to come out of here. Once that's there, we can, we can go. Also, I was just thinking, uh, if this thing is not actually as quick as we want it to be, we can put the entire system, we can just copy and paste it back in a little bit further backwards. Obviously, we'd have to do all of the pipes to the funnels, but uh, we'd be able to do that. And this would uh, be, I guess, a lot faster with, uh, like, two systems, uh, which would be really cool. We are still waiting um, for this. I should have put a speedo in, but the fact that I've been waiting for so long, we're not going to do that today. Maybe tomorrow. We'll see. But, um, yeah. I'm enjoying this build. I really am. Okay, so I was just thinking, uh, it's not actually when the steam comes out of the top, because, uh, obviously the pressure has to get to... Oh, never mind. We're in reverse. How? Why were we just in reverse? I don't know why we were going backwards there. That's really, really weird. That's really strange. It just started reversing. Um, Yeah, don't quite understand that. But anyway, this thing is now moving. I am very, very happy with it. Uh, we are going to list as we turn. Just a little bit. In fact, quite a lot. <laughs> we're listing loads. We are listing so much when we turn, uh, but we'll sort all of that out in the future because we're going to have to add a stability system anyway to this thing. Uh, these guys need actually like pinning down because at the minute that's a little bit too scary, just having them bumping around. Uh, but yeah, I'm actually really, really pleased with this. So I want to go ahead and say thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you, Gardener, for helping me out a little bit, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.